Welcome to Accountancy class. Now today's class in Unit 3, Books of Prime Entry, we are going to see about double entry system. What do you mean by this double entry system? Now this is a system which is scientific in nature and it is a complete system of recording the transaction. If you have a transaction, let us say for example, if you have a we have to make the payment. So the buyer that is the shop owner receives the cash from us and he gives us the product or goods so something comes into the business that is the cash comes into the business and something goes out of his business that is the goods go out of the business that is why we say for every transaction there are two aspects okay so i've given you a simple example that is why they say according to this every transaction has two fold effect so what does the effect means receiving aspect and giving aspect now in the example of shopkeeper what he receives from us is money and what he gives is the goods so he receives the money and return he gives the goods so only we say in double entry system for one transaction two entry will be made okay so because there are two aspects in a transaction what is it receiving aspect and the giving aspect now they are debit they are denoted by words dr that means debit and cr that means credit so it is denoted by the word debit and cr means credit so for every transaction the basic principle of this double entry system is that every debit there must be equivalent and corresponding credit now nasanna the example la nama poi porul vaangumbodhu you give the cash you get the product from the shopkeeper so the shopkeeper when he enters in his books of account he will say receive this much cash and 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 sold this much worth of goods isn't it so that is why they say for every debit the amount must be equal credit corresponding credit so debit denotes debit in a denote panadha abdina increase in asset or expenses asset abdina you know, all the belongings of the business which help them to earn or run the business or increase in asset or expenses idella enna pananu debit pananu or decrease in liability Income or capital. So, this is debit. This is the same sentence. This is the asset increase, expense increase, liabilities, income, capital, and debit. Now, this is credit. Increase in liabilities. Liabilities increase. Income or capital increase. Assets or expenses decrease. What do you do? Credit. So keep this aspect very um, deeply uh, recorded in your mind. Okay? So for every transaction, two-fold effects are there. And that is called the debit aspect or the credit aspect. And it is denoted by DR and CR. And what are the items that will be debited? Whenever there is an increase in asset or expenses or decrease in liability, income or capital. And what is credited? Whenever there is an increase in liability, income or capital or decrease in assets and expenses that will be credited. Okay. Now let us see the definition here given by J.R. Bartley Boy. Bartley Boy says, Every business transaction has two fold effect and that is affect two account in opposite direction and if a complete record of it is to be made of each such transaction it is necessary to debit one account and credit one another account so this is the explanation that he has given it in simple words here so recording of the two fold effect of every transaction that has given rise to the term double, double entry so when you record this two fold effect only then you call that as a double entry entry na making a writing okay so double entry na rendu thadava ezhudringa edha ezhudringa or financial transaction ku rendu thadava neenga entry padringa one debit entry inna one credit entry so idhu da indha concept double entry oda concept e idhu da okay now what are the principles followed for double entry 
as i said first for every business transaction enna irukano rendu aspect irukano adha rendu aspect enna debit aspect non vand credit aspect okay so the two aspect involved are the benefit or value receiving aspect or the benefit or value giving aspect receiving aspect or giving aspect okay what are the two aspect involved uh, these two aspect enna solranga minimum rendu account affect pannum rendu account edu at least one debit innon vand one credit seri for every debit there is a corresponding and equivalent credit if one account is debited other account must be credited so equal amount of debit to credit to irukano abingranga so minimum rendu account irukano oru oru debit innon oru credit oru receiving aspect and oru giving aspect irukano so business transaction on the rendu aspect in the aspect vachu da ninga adutha 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 point eludha poringa so these are the principles of double entry four points you have here okay idoda advantage enna first and foremost accuracy adavud correct clear teliva irukringa because very uh, it is very easy to check the books of accounts because you are recording all the transactions and so this helps in checking the accuracy in maintaining the books of accounts so first of all side heading accuracy then ascertainment of business result ascertainment means what to make sure business result eppadi irukengiradha nama sure a urudhi padutikrom nammukku vandu ella details irukku what are the details expense and losses incomes gain asset liability debitors and creditors indha patti ella details me irukudhu appo enna agum it is easy to prepare the net profit earned profit earn பண்ண முடியும் loss incurred எவ்வளவு loss incur ஆச்சு அப்படிங்கற தெரிஞ்ச உடனே நமக்கு என்ன financial position on a particular date becomes very very clear next comparative study you can make a comparative study for the current year and with that of the previous year illana you can even um, compare it with other business firms and you can do for the future planning of the business so that is possible comparative study is possible then common acceptance ipo namu prepare panna kodi in the books of accounts based on double entry that only is accepted by financial institutions in financial institutions na bankers or private money lenders or it can be any um, financial institutions in the form of uh, lending lenders okay so they then government government kuda epo when we are returning the tax and other people because it is systematic and scientific system ye ellar accept pandranga idu or system irukku idu or scientific approach irukku adanalai it is accepted so what are the various advantages of this double entry accuracy is there and then ascertain we can make sure of the business result and you know the financial position compare Comparating, the comparative study is possible and finally it is accepted by everyone so these are the advantages of double entry so what we saw today what do you mean by double entry okay why you call a transaction double entry other the definition and and path principles of double entry and and path after and path advantages of double entry okay children so please go through it read this sentence again and again it becomes very very uh clear for you you will understand the meaning of it and try to use the same terms as mentioned here thank you